Hey guys, Shukesh here. Today in this video, I will show you some awesome tips and tricks on this all new OnePlus 7 Pro in the disguise of the stock Android UI, the Oxygen OxygenOS boasts of some amazing fit tapping features that are easy to miss. In this three episode series, I will give you a tour of these hidden software tricks and tweaks so that you get the most out of this device. So let's get started. In this episode, I will primarily focus on the lock screen, though the trick I'm gonna show you works when the phone is unlocked as well. Tap and hold the power key, first you will get Google Assistant but if you tap longer, you will see an option called Lockdown. This feature is not enabled by default, I will show you how to do that in a minute. When you lock down your device, uh, the finger scanner, the notification panel, everything will be disabled including smart lock if you have enabled that as well. So when you are sleeping, you can lock down your phone so that nobody can unlock your phone using your finger scanner and also check your notifications. The lockdown cannot be disabled from the power key, you have to physically input the pattern, pin or alphanumerical password to unlock your OnePlus 7 Pro. To get the lockdown feature on the power key, go to your settings menu, then security and lock screen, lock screen preferences. Enable show lockdown option. The next feature I'm gonna show you is my favorite on this new OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, when you unlock your phone using the finger scanner, continue to hold down your finger even after unlocking the phone to launch the quick launch panel. You get six quick launch apps. Swipe left or right to select the shortcut and release your finger to launch it. It's as simple as that and no need to say, it's very very useful. So add your frequently used apps and contacts and most importantly, you can scan and pay with a single tap on your new OnePlus 7 Pro. So that's really very convenient. It's again not enabled by default. I will show you how to do that within a minute. If you unintentionally long press the scanner and open the quick launch panel, you can just swipe down to exit without opening any app or shortcut. To turn on this amazing feature on your new OnePlus device, go to the settings menu, scroll down for utilities, then quick launch at the top. Turn on this feature and go to shortcut settings and choose up to 6 apps and contact shortcuts. When you receive an incoming call, no need to swipe to answer, just put the phone to your ear and the call will be answered automatically. It's such a cool and time saving feature, sometimes I get confused which way to swipe so I personally use this feature on this phone. Visit the settings menu, then look for the option buttons and gestures, then quick gestures, answer calls by gesture. Enable this and enjoy this feature. Now if you go back, there is another option I want you to know. You can flip the phone to mute the incoming call ringtone. So if you are in a meeting or if you are at school and suddenly your phone rings, just put the phone face down. Now you must be wondering why Google Assistant is not showing up on your phone when you press the power key. Well, it needs to be enabled manually. Turn on Wi-Fi. As you know, Google Assistant is so useful, it works even when the phone is locked and you can also enable voice match. I hope you are aware of this Google feature, it can also be enabled by long pressing the home button. So let's jump to the option where you can enable Google Assistant from the power key as well. Go to settings, then buttons and gestures, quick activate the assistant app. Now using the power key, you can perform couple of other actions like double pressing the power button will launch the camera anywhere, anytime, whether the phone is password locked or if you are gaming. So this is the quickest way to get the camera and take those candid shots. Before I show you how to enable this option, there is another power key feature I want to talk about. If you triple tap the power key or tap the key 5 times consecutively, you can trigger the emergency rescue mode. 
so if you are in danger if you are getting mugged or killed if you are lost then this feature can be a lifesaver go to the settings menu scroll down to security and lock screen emergency rescue as i just mentioned you can enable this feature by tapping the power key three times or five times but i suggest you to go for the five times option because when you are trying to open the camera there is a good chance you will accidentally launch emergency rescue you can send SOS messages to your emergency contact numbers automatically after making an emergency call to 112. The SOS message will consist your current location. For the camera power key shortcut, go to buttons and gestures and this is the option you need to enable. Now let's quickly talk about ambient display. If you single tap on the screen, you can have a quick glimpse of the time battery percentage, the notification dots and most importantly this enables the finger scanner. Ambient display can also show up when you pick up the device. After unlocking your 7 Pro, if you double tap in a blank space on your home screen, you can lock the device right away. Such a handy feature, no need to reach out for the power hard key which doesn't really make sense on a touch screen phone. Of course when an app is opened there is no blank screen but on LG phones you can double tap the status bar. Here on this OnePlus you get the whole notification panel so that is another trick actually to enable this cool double tap to lock feature. Tap and hold on the home screen then home settings. There you have the option double tap to lock. Guys, I hope that you are liking this video so far. If not, then give it a thumbs down. But if yes, then do remember to smash the like button and maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Now you can also unlock your phone with a double tap on the screen. Go to the settings menu, then display setting, ambient display. First disable, tap the screen to show ambient display. The single tap and double tap features don't work simultaneously. Then go to buttons and gestures, quick gestures, double tap to wake. This will basically turn on the lock screen and also automatically disables the single tap feature. Now if I double tap, I get the lock screen right away. From the lock screen settings, if I change the lock method to none, then I will get directly the home screen bypassing the lock screen just with a double tap of your finger. Next, let's talk about one of the best features of OnePlus. There is screen off gesture support that is when the screen is off you can apply some gestures on the screen like a downward two finger swipe plays and pauses the music player that is running in the background. You can skip to the next song with the greater than sign and with the less than sign you can go to the previous song. No need to even press a single button on your OnePlus 7 Pro. To make this feature work you need to have any music player opened first which can be your stock player or any third party music player. In addition to that there are 5 more gestures that are supported. For example if I draw O it can launch the camera and with a V the flashlight can be turned on. With the same gesture you can turn this off as well. Now if I draw a W I can get the YouTube trending page with an S Spotify can be launched. Lastly I have assigned Ola cabs to M. That is all these gestures are customizable except for the music player gesture. To enable go to your settings menu, buttons and gestures, quick gestures, scroll down. First you get the music control, then the alphabet gestures, you get couple of shortcuts and also you can assign any app that is installed into this OnePlus 7 Pro. Either you can open the app itself or any specific option in the application. Now I have shown you how to turn on the screen with a double tap. If you want to use the face unlock there is an option in the settings which will make the camera up. Once you turn on the screen that is with a double tap you can basically unlock your phone using the face unlock feature. 
it's very fast actually faster than i thought but the demerit of this option is you can accidentally turn on the screen and make the camera pop up even when the phone is in your pocket or handbag and damage the camera module go to security and lock screen settings face unlock then default way to unlock auto unlock when the screen is on you can switch to swipe up to unlock feature so now the camera will pop up only when you swipe up the screen now that's all on the lock screen let me show you some quick tricks on the dialer and the messaging app when you receive an incoming call at the bottom left corner there is an ignore button so if you swipe this the call will be ignored that is the ringtone will be muted and the dialer will be closed you can get back to the application you were using the caller will get a no response notification oneplus 7 pro lets you record all the incoming and outgoing calls you can record all calls or any specific contact number or your favorite contacts there is also inbuilt caller identification service that is it will identify unknown numbers via the latest cloud database and it's almost accurate most of the time when you receive an incoming call by default you have to swipe down to answer the call but if you want you can switch the directions that is you can swipe up to answer as well now guys let me share with you some shorthand tricks on the keyboard as you can notice i have integrated the symbols keyboard with the normal alphabet keyboard so if you tap and hold on any alphabet you can actually input the symbols without switching to the symbols keyboard very handy and time saving feature i have also added the number row at the top to go to the keyboard settings tap and hold the comma and swipe up preferences enable number row at the top if you scroll down to the bottom you get the other option long press for symbols now since the keyboard is big for one handed typing you can shrink it to the left or right and type with one hand without any issue there are some phrases or keywords we use frequently like good morning good night so i have added some shortcuts like with gp you can get gadgets portal it's very useful especially for names because autocorrect sometimes get that wrong and glide typing is very useful you can also swipe left from the delete key to delete the words glide typing also supports autocomplete and autocorrect let's type hospital there is no need to complete the typing as you can see it has been auto completed and if you are not sure about the spelling of a word just type it will be auto corrected go to the settings menu then dictionary here you can add the words to the dictionary and also the shortcuts lastly you can add themes to the keyboard there are a couple of preloaded you can also create your own with the pictures from your gallery guys we are at the end of the episode number 1 the episode 2 will be much more interesting with lots of innovative software tips and tricks so make sure you are subscribed to gadgets portal if you think this video was good enough don't forget to like and share so that i get enough views and subscribers to continue this channel this is shukesh signing off thanks a lot for watching guys